My name is Randy Bigley. Join me on the podcast right now. We have Melanie Mason, which is on my right hand side here. If you're looking at it on our left hand side here, we have Pastor Sean Schneider. Hello. Hi. Good morning. Good morning. Um, we're here to talk about Spring Safety Day, right? Yes, we are. For us. Let's talk about that. What is Spring Safety Day all about? And uh, we get into particulars about that. Okay. So, by definition, it's a comprehensive safety event for Crawford and all the surrounding counties. What that actually means is a collection of community organizations, fire department, police department, health department, nonprofits. Um, we all come together to provide safety, education, health, wellness, um, whatever equipment people need, and just let them kind of get to know us mm -hmm. and look to make our community safer, and spread safety. Awesome. Now, who's putting this on? First Lutheran Church Outreach, um, Pastor Sean Schneider is our fearless leader, and um, he can talk about <laughs> why we're doing this a little bit more. Okay. All right, Sean, why, why, why not? Okay, so first of all, this is, this is Melanie's baby. Uh, so <laughs> it, it, is, it is something that, uh, you know, we, we had talked about, and um, we're looking for ways to walk out of the walls of our church, out of mm -hmm. our congregation, and out into the community. So why would we do that when churches gather at 10 o'clock in the mornings on Sundays, sure. right? Yeah. So <clears throat> I did a sermon once that uh, you'll get a, a, a brief overview, but I'll save the Cheerios. You'll understand that joke in a second. Um, I did a sermon once where uh, I took a, a bag of Cheerios. Uh -huh. You know, I ripped open the box and then I took the bag and I ripped open the bag and the Cheerios flew all over the sanctuary. If I knew, knew you had cameras for this, you I, would, I, would, done I would, would have done it here, right? Yeah. And the idea of that, the idea of that was uh, that, that God uh, is out in the world and active. So when Jesus came to this earth, um, there's no going back, mm -hmm. right? right? So these Cheerios are spread out all over the sanctuary and just like that, Jesus is active all over this world. God is all active all over this world. And um, God is looking for a partner. Mm -hmm. And we are called to partner with God out in that world, uh, out in the world and be active in that. Um, and it doesn't necessarily mean we're going out in the world and, and proclaiming Jesus Christ crucified and risen, even though that's what uh, we believe. Uh, but we go out and we are the hands and feet of God uh, when we go out into the community and we allow people to experience Jesus Christ crucified and risen in what we do out in our community. Cool. And we were finding Cheerios like four or five weeks later. Say, yeah. <laughs> They probably were everywhere. Weren't they, they were everywhere. <laughs> <laughs> Melanie, let's talk about uh, some of the activities going on on Spring Safety Day. Sure. So we have lots of things going on. A lot of people think they see our flyer and there's pictures mm -hmm. of kids and bicycles, and that is part of it. Mm -hmm. um, but it's not just for kids. So it's we beefed up our senior citizen and adult education this year. But it's essentially a um, like a touch a truck event for the fire department. They, kids can come or people can come. Last year I had nursing students are climbing mm -hmm. up in the fire truck oh. um, and they're able to see what the firemen do. They have the turnout gear they, so that if they come to, like, if it, Lord forbid, there's a fire, mm -hmm. um, they're not hiding in closets, that kind of thing. So they're able to see that, um, get to know their, their safe you know, people. Um, also doing um, like um, Jaws of Life demonstrations, different demonstrations like that, mm -hmm. and just basic fire safety. Um, the police officers work with us. We do uh, bicycle education and safety. So we have a bike education course. Um, you, kids can bring their bicycles. They can get them checked for safety, make sure the pedals, everything looks good. Um, we get, give them helmets through the American Academy of Pediatrics. So if they don't have a helmet, we provide those. And they can go through a real course. It's not like a, sort of like a, a big safety oh, it's a, challenge. It's a BMX like bike course. Come on. <laughs> <laughs> get lots of air time. <laughs> stop signs and all that so they can go through all that and and the, our police officers also do education on um, distracted driving and mm -hmm. a lot of their programs and we have canine units and so it just really kind of gives everyone the opportunity to get to know the the police officers mm -hmm. and and really we just provide that education and um, there's lots of other things the health department comes from Columbus and Galleon they do um, our car seat education mm -hmm. so we encourage all the grandparents parents to bring all the car seats in the vehicles we'll check them make sure they're the proper fit if they're properly installed and if they're not if they don't have car seats there are some available 
um, to those who qualify to get car seats for free and to make we want to encourage children to leave here leave our event absolutely um, safe in the proper equipment so yeah. Yeah, those are you know a lot of the things we do we do compile IDs um, yeah. so we um, kind of burn the information onto a disk the fingerprints the picture we do not keep any of the information that's run by Scott Bassett and um, the Moose in Lexington. He generously volunteers his time with mm -hmm. EBID. Um, they have a whole computer system. We burn it to a CD and then it's deleted from the system so okay. that there's nothing, uh, no traces of that. But we give the CD to the parents or grandparents, put it in a safe place, store it to the, I pray you never have to use it, but if there's something happens or the child is missing, mm -hmm. We hand that CD over, and you are 10 steps ahead of anyone who doesn't have it because we have their fingerprints. We have a side view, so if someone's going by in a car, you might only get the ear view or mm -hmm. the side of the face. But we have those pictures so that the law enforcement and the Amber Alerts can get things out quickly. So mm -hmm. those are some of the things we do. Um, lots of games for the kids with prizes, including teenager games, free throw contest, bouncy house, balloon twister, face painting, um, like I said, senior and adult education, mm -hmm. American Academy, um, Amer Agency on Aging, Slip Scripts and Falls Education, mm -hmm. we're doing education on phone scams, working with uh, local banks and uh, different uh, municipalities for that because a lot of our seniors are falling victim to the phone scams sure, right. and losing a lot of their um, hard-earned um, savings and not uh, money. So then there's just a variety of other things. I mean, I don't want to... Like, what, <laughs> I mean, there's, there's a very this is, this, the, like I said, this is her baby. There's, yeah. there's a ton of relationships she's made in, in, yeah. uh, in trying to, to uh, really ramp this up. The first time we did it was last year. It's, it's growing this year. And uh, just a ton of relationships that we're making with the community to help connect our community yeah. with all of the agencies and organizations in the community uh, to be able to know where, that they can, where they can go for assistance and help. Wow, all kinds of stuff that you would have done. Yes, yeah. it's, it really yeah. is something like for everyone. I, mean, I was going to say, yeah, it's, yeah. If you if you if you don't have anything to do, if you're bored, it's your problem. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> yeah, exactly. You want to come and drink a cup of coffee and get an ice cream bar, and people watch. Hey, it's there too. It's there too. <laughs> it's, it appeals to everybody. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so, uh, when is it, and where is it located? It's uh, Saturday, June first. 1 to 4 p.m. and it is um, graciously we this is part of what's really great about this mm -hmm. is that it's not just our church other churches have come alongside us other businesses so the art church has graciously let us use their facilities so that we're not weather dependent okay. um, because we've been to some other yeah. things and the, the weather comes in and it's just kind of destroyed the whole event yeah. you know right. um, so we didn't we didn't really want that so it's this information is too important so it's at the art church which is on Gelson Lighter Road uh, which is the old Candelo's bowling alley over okay. in Galleon yep. um, it's it is um, 200 Gelson Lighter, I believe. Mm -hmm. So it's on Saturday, um, like I said, 1 to 4. Um, you can come anytime. Um, and Do you need uh, looking for volunteers or anything? Yes, okay. we are absolutely looking for volunteers. We have uh, um, several business sponsors mm -hmm. and local sponsors, um, like private sponsors, um, who visited our six bicycles. That's wow. the other thing. Yeah. So I want everyone to know, and those are from 18 to 26 inch bicycles. Mm -hmm. Anyone who comes, any of the kids are eligible for any of the bicycles and any of the giveaways. And there's a lot of our exhibitors have giveaways as well. So definitely um, come with four prizes for adults. Mm -hmm. um, so there's giveaways and food and education. You can't, can't wait for this. So. Melanie, if someone wants to volunteer or they want to make a donation, how can they do that? They can absolutely do that through our, uh, we have a Spring Safety Day web uh, Facebook page. Um, and they can link that as well at your website at Copper County Now. Okay. Um, they can also call our church office. Do I have the number? Oh, man, <laughs> you are killing me right now. So they can call oh, the church no. office. Oh, no, give um, me one moment. <laughs> or they can look at our website, and there's a flyer on there that has my personal yeah. information, the, my email and phone number. So okay. anybody who wants to, to get um, notify me through that way, I will certainly get back with you. But we have several, like I said, businesses. And, and honestly, I'm an ER nurse, so, and yeah. that's kind of where my passion comes with this, is I've worked pre-hospital and EMT yeah. in the ER. And we try to get people before those events happen, right? Yeah. And, and build those relationships in the community. So a lot of my nursing uh, folks, um, yeah. my coworkers over at Ohio Health, they, they are working with me and really, um, I, I couldn't do that without them either. Right. With our church and with them, they have volunteered their time, money, um, everything, and bringing their families to come and do it. So if you guys want to volunteer, um, please, by all means, just join a great group of people. Sure. Um, and 
what we have no computer. So just kind of, it's open for everyone, whatever your capabilities. And, and according to the Google, uh, <laughs> our phone number is 419-468-3107. And uh, uh, we have a, a, an administrative assistant uh, who would be more than happy to take your calls from uh, 9 to 1 mm -hmm. on uh, Monday through Thursday or leave a message and we can get back to you there. Awesome. Pastor Sean, so nice you came in. Thank Melody, you. Melody, same with you. Thank, Thank you, so, you much. so much. And look forward to uh, Spring Safety Day 2024, June 1st at our church. Yep. Come out and see us and won't be disappointed.